What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Overlord Season 4, Episode 3. So, uh, last time, oh my god, there's so much stuff being set up for this show. Okay, so, Runner and Albedo are making a deal. Well, they have a deal made, I'm sorry. Um, so, Runner wants to open this box somehow. She's being rewarded with the box for doing, I guess, all these tasks they've assigned her with. The money, like the doubling the tribute, um, the orphanage, finding the people who are, like, talented and useful to Nazareth as warriors. Um, or will be if they're children. All of these things. Now, I don't know what that box does. I don't, we'll have to find out, but I'm sure it has something to do with power and like she she seems like she she fits in with Nazareth so she's um she's kind of she's scary that that that, that oh God. she's smart she's so fucking smart and it's like it's scary how smart she is anyway so Ains might go off as like Momon to go off and do his own thing because he feels kind of lost right now he feels like well, what do I contribute right now I mean they're all doing everything well Demiurge and um, Albedo are like doing everything. Now Albedo, she went to Riestes, she's handling things. Um, we have our like little puppets, Philip, all the other nobles, we're gonna use them I guess, put them in like positions of power maybe. Pretty much, you want idiots in positions of power so you can puppeteer them, make them do whatever you want. But Philip, better watch out boy you're getting a little bit, bit too big for your britches okay like first of all going after albedo listen to hilma no 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 and then i was watching this video yesterday that kind of like recaps the episode and like points out like like no spoilers or anything but like kind of helps you like understand like what's going on um but like i guess philip thinks Ainz, like, did all of this to, like, kind of help him because he was, like, third in line. Now he's, like, the first in line for the, um, to inherit, like, his father's title and property and bullshit, whatever. So, he's kind of got this, like, ego, almost, like, like, he's on a level playing field with them or, like, he's in with them, like, no, he's not. So, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. But, yeah. Um, anyway, I feel like I've summarized everything, so we don't know what's going on with Demiurge or Demiurg yet. Um, mostly I think we're just focused on, like, you know, Ainz, Albedo, and Renner. So, let's see how this turns out. Um, and then Brain, maybe, the Coliseum. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, remember to, uh, remember, oh, sorry, it's been a few days, so I'm kind of out of, like, I'm out of my, my rhythm. Anyway, okay. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Mm. <laughs> So are we gonna get an explanation as to what that is? Oh, okay. 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 Okay. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Aw, her cheeks, that's so cute. <laughs> Oh, 
cute. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> he really sent her off like the best way possible. She's okay. <laughs> Forget everything you saw just now. Oh, okay. あ。うん。ですないとの軍勢。ガッケン。ですないとの軍勢。ドスチウィスソー。イン Okay. <laughs> Scared the shit out of her. <laughs>。もう一つで十三万以上の死者が出たと。これは神々の魔法第十一回魔法ではないかだとすると神の降臨か。ついに来たのか。だろうな。二百年ぶりか。<laughs> oh, was that prophesized? Oh. あの、バカどもが。せっかく安全で広くな大地を与え、一族の中高と戦える勇者が育つよう報告として準備をする。インベイドアザーナンヒューマンズ。おお。高さゆえに内部から腐れ果ててしまうとは。しかも麻薬など
That's his name. Forgot his name, honestly. Yep, okay, no mix. Yeah, really? Yeah, really? It's not Ainz, is it? Oh my god, is this what was in the intro? I, okay, you want to use the Suspicious of him. I think it's acting, maybe. <gasps> no, honestly. You're talking about Ainz? Pandora's actor or is it Ainz? Oh, it's Ainz. Okay. Yikes! <笑>いやいくそ。やつの策謀だったのか。ここに残る現場を押さえ、その同盟を阻止。うん。おお、ボッシェ。<laughs> You'll see firsthand how powerful he is. <laughs>、<laughs> Nothing. Dude, he made him look so bad. Nothing.妖精兵家。なぜ魔導は邪悪な案ですとであり、あれを王と認めることは許されることではない。そのために奴を滅ぼす手段を模索する。売り渡しのであれば売り渡せ、皇帝よ。兄弟な間に魅了され
Hang on. Man, dude. Okay, so... The Emperor was trying to work with the slain theocracy. That did not go well. He totally just showed up. And yeah, I guess it does kind of make it look like you're trying to sell them out or work with him. You were going to, like, feed him all this information later or maybe he was, like, eavesdropping on the whole thing. Um... Yeah, that didn't look good for him. Um... I'm sorry, I'm still, like, shocked that, like, Ayn's even thought about that. Honestly, though, maybe he wasn't thinking about that. I mean, it could have just been, like, another one of those moments where he just was, like, so bored that he just wanted to go check out the Coliseum, like, show himself off to the people, and then, like, just so happened, like, oh, hey, what are you doing here, guys? Because <laughs> they did announce him, so, like, Ayn's would have heard that, so we'll see. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is so funny. So the slain theocracy, they're all having that discussion, right? They, they, they have no clue what's going on. I'm not saying they're stupid. It's because they've planned it so well, like by not exposing themselves, like having Demurg and um, Shaltir go out under these like aliases. And you as well as Momon and fighting them, like no one thinks that they're all like working together and they don't know that, you know, Momon and Ains or the or the Sorcerer King are the same person, so like it's just kind of working out really well for them, you know? <sighs> and then they they said though oh uh, there's hair in my mouth. Um those two Godkin, they called them. Godkin. I have to write that down. Godkin, because so the way they were talking, they were making it seem like Ein's arriving here, or a god, was like prophesized. Well, it has been 200 years. And I remember the dragon was talking about like, you know, I haven't been able to don that suit, or whatever. Maybe I shouldn't say don, but like, uh, um, like possess almost like the suit uh, for 200 years. So... Something happened, and then there was like this whole prophecy of a, of a god arriving, but I guess maybe more like a demon. Anyway, um, but you know, not all gods are like benevolent. He is being benevolent, like they said it this episode right here at the end. He's been a benevolent leader or ruler to the people of Erantel, so they're living in peace. Utopia, they love him. And so this is what I was going to talk about, like, in the beginning of the episode, like, he's going to get, I guess the goal here is, like, to get everyone to, like, hate the, um, where, um, like, where Renner is, get them to, like, distrust, well, really everyone, like, distrust your, your kingdom, like, even the emperor over here. See what a great ruler, how benevolent Ainz is, and you'll be more likely to, you know. Well, if they're, if they can, I guess. If you're like, well, I guess it would be different for like soldiers versus like regular citizens on how you would even like defect. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, essentially, you like betray your own nation and or country and go, go over there into his like beautiful utopia. Where you might be murdered, like, at night by one of his monsters. I mean, that's just a risk you're, ha you're gonna have to take. At least you live in harmony and peace for X amount of days that you're there. <laughs> so, um, anyway. No, I'm, I mean, I'm, I, all jokes aside, though, I, mean, I don't know if he'd let his... Can I put that past him, though? Would he let his people do that? I don't know. I mean, if he did, it'd probably be, like, rarely. He's got... They, he's, I feel like... Ultimately, the goal here is to get him to, like, eventually see humans in a more positive light and, like, treat them equally, not just out of, like, respect for, like, his, you know, his decrees or his orders or whatever, but, like, because they actually want to. That's the goal here, guys. I don't know if that's ever going to be, like, achievable, but we'll see. 
you know, we've got sort of an idea, I guess, kind of with, like, Renner that it's sort of possible, but, like, they might see her more as, like, a monster than a human because she's so easily, like, or readily betrayed her own people, her humans, for that box, whatever the fuck that does. And her brother did call her a monster, so. Anyway. Um... I'm kind of going all over the place. Kind of, uh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, get the people to hate where they live, the, the, the nation that they're from, whatever. And go over into Ions' kingdom. Um, but what else happened this episode? The, the, the godkin, back to that. So, the godkin, he said, one of those people at the table in the slain theocracy said, the godkin might be able to defeat a few hundred, uh, what are they called? Death Knights, I think. Yeah. Um, and then they also brought up the Thousand Lee Astrologer. And she was just, like, petrified, like, traumatized after, like, what she had seen <coughs> in the stars, I guess. Whatever. She, she had a report from, like, I think the war and just how powerful Ainz is and, and all of that. And pretty much she's kind of just like we should not be fucking with them like just just pledge your loyalty to him stop like just 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 don't even don't even try to fight back you're going to lose a lot more people are gonna die but i get it from from el nix's or the emperor's perspective i could do that but what guarantee do i have that he won't just murder us all on the spot the second we um, oh my god, wait, give me a second, give me a second. Why am, why am I, why are my words escaping? Like, I was literally about to say the word and it just, like, my mind just went blank just now. The, the second we submit, or, yeah, anyway. Um, that's true. They could do that. I don't, I, you can't really, I wouldn't put it past him, but I don't, I know what they're up to. He doesn't. So, um, I don't think he would do that. That's like not the goal here. That would completely fuck up all of the planning and plotting he's done to like improve his image. So you don't have to worry about that, my guy. But, um, I don't know. I guess he's not really thinking about that right now. He's not thinking rationally. He's just kind of like, in panic mode. Um, yeah. Hang on. Dude, this is pissing me off now. This is not... Sorry, that word! Why? Why? It's like such an easy word, but my mind just went fucking blank. No. Get out of here. We got the, th the thesaurus and shit. No. Surrender! Yay! That's what I wanted. Surrender. So, the second they surrender. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. It pissed me off. Anyway. Um. What was I saying about the episode, though? Fuck. Where was I at? Um. He's not thinking about that. I'm surprised we didn't see anything with Renner. I'll skip to the end to see if there's an after credit scene in a minute. But I'm just gonna finish my thoughts on, like, the rest of the episode. Let me go back. Oh, the whole Albedo kiss thing. That was cute. We got, now we know what the little thing is, that the, the item she had, so it prevents her from being brainwashed. And, yep, okay, all that. Their conversation. There was no intro. Oh, fuck. I just noticed. Uh, this conversation. There's a lot of shit that they say that just, like, I was talking to Chris about this, like, this I was watching episode or I'm sorry, season three. There was I think it was episode nine, and the emperor was talking about something about like the dragon queen. I mean I think there's like a dragon kingdom, and like she was like a possible um, candidate to be his wife. Um, so I wonder if like she'll end up being in it. Because in the intro there are some dragons. I'm not saying that they're gonna like, show the queen. They might. He's so scared. Everyone's against me. 
Hmm, it's too heavy. So I'm trying to be defected to that side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we got some new adventurers, a bard in there, too. That's kind of cool. Uh, I wonder if we're going to meet the other ones that we saw in the intro, though, like next episode, maybe. Or maybe not next episode, maybe later in the season, but... Anyway, I am defeating this troll, though. I wonder if he's going to just kill it? Or do you just, like, are you not allowed to kill your opponent? Like, you just defeat them? And then if you don't kill them, is he going to try to use him? Maybe. But I want to know more about those godkin. I don't remember their names. I feel like they gave their names. Maybe in season three. But I'm not sure. So if you guys know their names, can you put them in the comments? Unless that's a spoiler. I don't know. Maybe they said it in the episode. And I'm, I don't know. Anyway. I think I've talked about everything though. So let me go see. If there's anything at the end no i don't think so nope okay cool talked about everything all right i'm gonna shut the fuck up i gotta go edit this for youtube now so remember to like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time i upload a video and if you guys want full reactions you can catch that on my patreon the link for that's in the description below so please check that out and sign up to support the channel other than that i'm gonna get out of here guys and i'll catch you in the next reaction